Hello Star Wars fans, I'm Joel Robinson, and today, I got mail. A few weeks ago I sent out my actual address, and I asked you guys to send me letters and things. Anything that has to do with Star Wars, I wanted to see. And you guys actually sent me mail. That's amazing. And as promised, I'm going to read your letters on the air. Dear Joey Robinson, close enough. I'm a huge fan of Star Wars and your channel, and I wanted to see if you can explain a certain character's life. The character is the one and only, the best and amazing, the funniest and beautiful Ahsoka Tano. What I mean by explain is go deep inside Ahsoka's life. I've watched videos and read articles about her life, but I'm not sure if they are actually true or not. Here are some of my burning questions. What was Ahsoka's life like before Master Plo Koon found her? What did Ahsoka do after she left the Jedi Order? Events before Order 66? And if she ever saw her master before he became Darth Vader? Lastly, what was Ahsoka doing during these events? After Revenge of the Sith, until before Rebels? After Rebels, until Return of the Jedi, and The Force Awakens, if possible. Also, I've heard a rumor, but I wanted to know if you can confirm or deny Here's the rumor. I've heard that Ahsoka was one of the members of the New Jedi Order with Luke. Thanks, signed Angel. Those are some amazing questions. And they're not entirely easy to answer. But let me go through them one by one. Starting off, what was Ahsoka's life like before Master Plo Koon found her? Well, we don't know exactly for her. But what we do know is that all Jedi children who are sensitive with the Force are put on a list in which the Jedi are made aware of their presence. This is so that they can later be found and become a part of the Jedi Order, and also is to help protect against those sidious forces. This is something that we saw early on in the Clone Wars, and if you have paid attention in Rebels, you can even see where the Empire is now tracking Force-sensitive children through Project Harvester. This is where they find the children for the Inquisitors. So, although this is not directly what happened to Ahsoka, and we don't know who her parents are and such, this gives us a little insight into what her life was like before she became a Jedi under Master Plo Koon. So what did Ahsoka do after she left the Jedi Order? I, I don't know. That's a great question. Hopefully, we'll get to find out very soon at Star Wars Celebration Europe, where Dave Filoni will host a panel all about Ahsoka Tano. Trust me, I will let you know as soon as I know. So to answer your final questions, I want to talk about what we do know about Ahsoka's life between leaving the Jedi Order and Rebels and a little bit after. So what we do know is that after she left the Jedi Order, Order 66 happened. All the Jedi were murdered. And the early start of the Rebellion began. Bail Organa met with Mon Mothma and other Rebel sympathizers and began planning to rebel against the Empire. And we know that Ahsoka was a part of this because we saw that in Rebels, where she would play the character of Fulcrum. Later in the first book of the Aftermath series, she's referenced as Fulcrum. And the person describing her actions is none other than Wedge Antilles, a huge important member of the Rebel Alliance and a friend to Luke Skywalker. As far as what happens after Return of the Jedi, that is still unclear because, as many of you know, a lot of Star Wars is still unwritten. The stories are not been told yet, in fact, I don't even think Pablo Hidalgo knows. But, I stress again, as soon as I know, you'll know. Thank you, Angel, so much for your letter. I hope this helped answer some of your burning questions. Next up. Oh, there we go. Joel, as promised, here's your Star Wars greeting card, which came from England. Now I'm happily sending it to you. Aw, that's so nice. Thank you for your videos. You are appreciated. A kindred mind. Vesuvi in Chicago. Thank you! That's so awesome. I really appreciate this card. I like how they purposely left it open so that it could be Finn or Rey that has the Force in them. In fact, it could be both of them. I wonder if there's actually an Easter egg in the card. This card is awesome. I really love it. In fact, I think I'm going to make it part of my permanent backdrop. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to send me a letter, then the address is in the description. Please subscribe if you want to be notified for my next video, and I promise I will be talking about Thrawn. Leave a comment on this video so that you and I can talk. 
because I know you love Star Wars, and you know I love Star Wars. And as always, may the Force be with you. Thank you.